This edition of the Art of Medicine video series focuses on how to discuss simple febrile seizures with parents in the emergency department. Simple febrile seizures are common, occurring in 2 to 4% of patients, and can be very scary. Again, the criteria include seizure with fever, a patient greater than 3 months or less than 6 years of age, no findings consistent with central nervous system infection, no metabolic or traumatic cause, like bad head injury or hypoglycemia, and no history of previous afebrile seizures. They are divided into simple or complex. Simple being a generalized onset, lasting less than 15 minutes, and occurring with only one episode in a 24-hour period. Complex febrile seizures, on the other hand, have a focal onset, last greater than 15 minutes, and occur more than once in a 24-hour period. Let me begin by saying that I'm very reassured with how good your son looks right now. He's up, he's alert, he's asking to go home, he's had something to eat, and those are our main criteria for discharge from the emergency department. And, you know, I can't think of anything more frightening for a parent to witness than a seizure. I mean, it comes out of nowhere, it feels like it's never going to end, and it all deal with the elephant in the room. You were worried that your son was going to die. And again, I'm so happy to see that he looks okay. And I know that this seemed like it came out of nowhere. He was fine yesterday, today he developed a fever, and then he had the seizure. These are fairly common. Some studies indicate that they may occur in up to 2-4% to of children, and they tend to run in families. They are associated with certain infections like HHV6, which is a virus that causes roseola. It's actually quite rare for them to happen with immunizations. And fortunately, in vaccinated kids with normal immune systems, you know, not receiving uh, immunosuppression for an organ transplant, have a history of sickle cell or other diseases, now the risk of meningitis or a bloodstream infection causing the fever that led to this seizure is actually quite low as well. So most febrile seizures are what we would classify as simple. Perhaps 19 out of 20 kids that have one fit that bill. Many of them are very brief lasting less than five minutes and certainly less than 15 minutes. Beyond that is when you run into issues of injury to the brain and seizures that won't stop. So again, the seizure that happened today did not cause any long-term damage to your son's brain. Seizures can be hard to understand, especially if you've never seen them before. And when you're awake and alert, there are multiple things going on in your brain at the same time. You know that you're listening to me talk, you know that you're sitting here in this room and that it's too cold, your son's pulling on your shirt and asking you to leave, you know that you've crossed your legs for too long and your foot falls asleep. All of these things happen at once and your brain processes them. When the body has a seizure, the motor portion or the muscle portion of the brain is repetitively stimulated. Therefore, you get that rhythmic jerking that you saw today. While that's occurring, the part that makes you alert, awake, and conscious is suppressed. So therefore, most patients with seizures are unconscious. Now, once it's over, most individuals will be very sleepy afterwards. You can look at this analogous to when a computer crashes, it's got to reboot. Some kids are sleepy for 10 to 20 minutes, others for up to two hours. Certainly that is our outer limit of what we would consider reasonable for a child that's had a febrile seizure. And the other question you're going to ask is, well, what if this happens again? Well, fortunately, most kids won't have another one. And by most, I actually mean two out of three. So conversely, that means one out of three children that had a simple febrile seizure will have another one in the future. Kids that go on to have more than one, well, they have a 50% chance of having three or more. The risk of epilepsy for anybody out there in the general population is 1 in 100. The risk of epilepsy, a chronic seizure disorder in your son who had his first febrile seizure today, is 1 in 100. Children that have multiple febrile seizures do have a 50% increase in the risk of epilepsy. So it goes all the way up to 1.5%. Now, if he does have one in the future, the first thing you're going to want to do is stay calm and time it. Figure out how long it lasts. Get him onto the floor away from anything that he can fall off of or strike. You definitely don't need to stick your hand or anything in his mouth. He will not swallow his tongue. Many patients with seizures will drool, 
they can throw up, they can make abnormal sounds when they breathe, or e they can even turn briefly blue in the face. But if you stick your finger or an object in their mouth, they could choke and aspirate, that is content can go down into their lungs. And if he does have another one, it's important to get seen each and every time. At your discretion, that can be in the emergency department or at your pediatrician's office. Certainly if the seizure lasts longer than five minutes, you're gonna to wanna to call for an ambulance. But if it's brief and he wakes up and looks okay, it would be appropriate to talk to your doctor and consider bringing him in by car. Now, anytime your child gets a fever, I know that you're gonna be thinking, okay, are they gonna have another seizure? Are they gonna have another seizure? Well, this risk extends out to about kindergarten age and not beyond that. That probably has to do with maturation of the brain. Ultimately, treating fevers will make your son feel better, but it's not gonna definitively prevent another febrile seizure from occurring. So anytime your child gets a sniffle, you don't have to start pounding them with ibuprofen or acetaminophen in the hopes of offsetting you know, the likelihood of a febrile seizure. The other thing I want you to do is to let caregivers, grandma, daycare setting know that this could happen, but tell them not to panic. We're gonna give you some information to take home and I want you to share that with them. But again, I wanna reiterate, what your son had today was called a simple febrile seizure. It was very brief. It caused no long-term harm, and as you can see right now, he's awake, playful, and happy. And those are our major criteria for discharge home.